<laughs> Do we ever think that we would be cruise impresarios? I myself am a magnate. <laughs> and I'm a tycoon. <laughs> on the high seas. Uh, I uh, introduced myself as a cruise master. <laughs> cruise master. master. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think I can answer for all of us, no. The first year <laughs> we did it, it was sort of a, hey, let's try this. This will be goofy and fun, which is usually the start of most things that are either awesome or terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out it was the former. Uh, no, but I think it's been very... Weirdly satisfying. We spend an awful lot of time. We actually have a weekly call and a lot of work that's generated and staff that is increasing to help us out. But that it always is for me that first moment in Studio B uh, that it's been the past few years where it's no longer spreadsheets. It's people who are happy and uh, you people aren't just numbers on a yeah. grid. <laughs> here's, that. here's the thing that happens to me every year is that we we spend all your uh, you know having these phone calls and sending these emails and making these spreadsheets and work it a work it a work it a uh, and it's you know it's it's a uh, it's, it's it's a stressful thing. There's a lot of organization that has to happen and you know I spend the year sort of dealing with that stress and anxiety and then it all it all starts coming together. We're like all right great we got we got all the people we need we have all the performers we need everything's starting to line up. All the plans are kind of together, and then a few weeks before the cruise, I'm like, "Ah, oh, shit! We gotta entertain these people now. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta do shows. I gotta remember how to play my songs and stuff." So there's a there's a, there's a whole other layer that I always forget about, um, and uh, and then I have a few uh, a few days of uh, of panic and uh, and depression, and then uh, but like Storm said, when when I get here and I see you guys, I'm like, "Oh right, I forgot. This is a great bunch of people." They all want to be here. They all want to have a good time. Uh, did, and you, had, did you say anything? Uh, I, I would love for you to tell them the story of the stress dream that you had this year. Oh, yeah. So here's a dream. Here's a dream I had. Here's a dream I had a couple of weeks before the cruise. Uh, Do you have any uh, clinical psychologists in the audience? You might want to open up your notebook. It's the, the symbolism, the symbolism is, is uh, maybe going to be hard to get. But I'll explain it to you anyway. Uh, I, uh, my house was my house, but not my house, you know. In the back of my house, there was a cement uh, pier uh, right on the ocean. And uh, <clears throat> I was arriving at my house and, and going out back because I remembered, oh my God, I left my RV parked on the pier uh, in such a way that it blocked a, a boat from leaving. <laughs> And it's a little bit of a New York City parking stress dream because this, this happens all the time where you're like, my car! You wake up in the middle of the night. Um, because in New York City, if, the, if you leave your car parked on the wrong side of the street when they're trying to clean the street, they'll, they'll smack a sticker on the window to punish you. Or like if you leave it parked where they're shooting a movie, they will just unceremoniously tow it and, to a new place and not tell you where it is. It's like, they don't care. So I knew that the people who had to move the boat didn't care about my RV and probably had done something terrible. So when I got to the pier, sure enough, they had towed my RV. I don't actually own an RV. <laughs> Only an idiot would own an RV. <laughs> they had towed my RV up some stairs and left it parked on an incline on some stairs. <laughs> and I could see, you know, the tires were bulging the way they do when you park on a curb by mistake. And the back doors of the RV had opened up and all of my worldly goods had slid out <laughs> and fallen into the ocean. <laughs> and I was so mad at those guys. And I was so sad about all my stuff under the water, trapped, without agency, ruined. Sometimes an RV is just an RV. Yeah, that's right. So things are going great. Next question. <laughs> He's just like you and me, everybody. <laughs>